Assalamu alaikum and welcome to lecture number three for corporate social responsibility. Uh, before I start my lecture today, I'll just tell you that we're still on chapter number one of your books and we would be completing the chapter today. Uh, a very quick recap of what we've done in the first uh, two lectures. Uh, what, we're, what we're doing basically is we're defining to you or we're explaining to you the general concept of what corporate social responsibility is. Uh, we've told you KG organization kya hoti hai, corporation kya hoti hai, what are the various different forms of ownership uh, of a business, uh, how does a business and where does corporate social responsibility fit where does it fit into the business? Then we've talked about KG businesses may human aspect be hota hai or technical aspect be hota hai. And in the very last thing that we did in the last lecture was that considering our previous discussion, we came up with a definition of corporate social responsibility. Or the World Business Council for Sustainable Development came up with a very comprehensive definition of what corporate social responsibility is about. Now, corporate social responsibility, or CSR, is the continuing commitment of businesses to behave ethically and contribute to economic development while improving the quality of life of their workforce and their families as well as the local community and society is large. large. So this is what the definition, a very comprehensive, well-rounded, all-rounded definition of what corporate social responsibility is, which tells us exactly what is it and why is it important and what is expected of the corporations with respect to CSR. Now, in addition to this uh, definition, the WBCSD president also said that there's no hard and fast rule as to what corporations should do or it is not as if one corporation is doing something the other corporation should also follow that corporation ya agar aapne ek particular definition csr ki padhi hai to ye zaruri nahi hai ki aap bilkul usi ke bare mein soch kar usko to the spirit aap usko completely follow kare what is important for organizations is that keeping in mind their size keeping in mind their scope keeping in mind their resources they should find their own definition of CSR they should find find ke unho ne CSR mein ya corporate social responsibility ke activities mein kitna involve hona hai and that's why he said that there is no universal definition of CSR because the concept is always being redefined it is up to the companies to find their magnetic north now where why has he talked about the magnetic north because agar aap ek magnetic compass ko dekhe wherever you will point that compass the arrow is always going to point towards the north and that is what is meant ke ji corporation chahe kaisi bhi ho be it big be it small be it, be it local be it multinational be it interna international be it uh, ek branches ho multiple branches ho ek city mein formed ho us corporation ko apna csr activities ya apni csr activities ko khud samajhna sochna aur implement karna hai so that basically means that companies should not follow other companies examples companies should not have a predefined vision or a predefined um, statement of what csr is and and try to follow that predefinition of csr but try to find their own um, their definition of csr uh, should they should try to find uh, their own version of csr and implement it uh, in any possible manner that they can, big or small, large investment or uh, less investment, whatever, but in, uh, implement it in any form that they want, keeping in mind the definition that we have discussed above. The values and principles are the company's internal compasses that help the company to stay on the ethical path. So that means that jo company ki under policies hai or values hai, they have to be a very strong uh, system or they have to form a very strong st strong system we've already talked about values in the last lecture as well ek aise company jiski values bahut strong hai automatically the probability ke wo unethical activities may uh, involve hogi ya illegal activities may involve hogi wo bahut reduce ho jati hain on the other hand if the value system of an organization is relatively weak or weak the probability of the company getting involved in illegal activities automatically increases so that means that the organizations and corporations have basically need to work upon their value system they need to work upon their principles rules regulations so that 
ये जो वैल्यूज प्रिंसिपल्स रेगुलेशंस हैं दे आर बेसिकली एक इंटरनल कंपस होंगे ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस का व्हिच आर गोइंग टू गाइड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू स्टे ऑन द राइट पाथ टू स्टे ऑन द एथिकल पाथ टू 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 डू व्हाट इज द राइट थिंग टू बिकम सोशली रिस्पांसिबल सो दैट इज व्हाट द the president of the world business council for sustainable development said now with this definition in mind what we are going to do uh, in the next two three slides is that we are going to talk about various other definitions of csr that that different people give and these different people are very respected scholars uh, of the past and of the present as well and 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 they've done lots of research and they've done lots of work in business and management and and uh, related areas the very first definition of uh, corporate social responsibility or one of the uh, first definitions of corporate social responsibility was given by Milton Friedman and he said that there is one and only one social responsibility of business and what is that one social responsibility to use resources and engage in activities designed to create profits so long as it stays within the rule of the game which is to stay engaged in open and free competition without deception and fraud so this is what the definition that was of csr that was given by milton friedman and he said that the companies have only one responsibility and you aap usko responsibility keh dijiye aap usko corporate social responsibility keh dijiye there is one social responsibilities of companies that is to engage in any kind of activities use resources and engage in activities that would result in profit so simply stating agar hum isi statement ko bahut basic form mein le jaye bahut straight forward tarike se kahe to iska simple uh, statement kya banegi ki ji milton friedman kehte hain ki ji companies as long as they are making profit that is what social responsibility is if the company is not making profit then the company is not being socially responsible if the company is making profit then the company is being socially responsible so that is what he said now with reference to his definition there are certain shortcomings to this now the very first shortcoming to this particular definition is that milton friedman is automatically assuming that whoever would be practicing business would be of very high morals and he or she would have very high ethical standards now is it correct kya ye hota just just think about people uh, who are around you or or people that you have seen doing business does everybody who's doing business has a uh, very high moral standards very high ethical standards uh, they're very just they fair नो नॉट नेसेसरली हाँ शायद आपके 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 इर्द गिर्द ऐसे लोग हों जो कि बहुत जस्ट बहुत फेयर बहुत एथिकल और बहुत मॉरल्स उनके मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स बहुत हाई बट नॉट एवरीबडी इज लाइक दिस इस डेफिनेशन जो कि फ्रीडमेन ने दी इस डेफिनेशन में इज ऑटोमेटिकली एज्यूमिंग दैट एवरीबडी हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग बिजनेस और एवरीबडी हु इज अ प्रैक्टिशनर ऑफ बिजनेस वुड हैव हाई मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स सो इस इस डेफिनेशन में जो कि अभी हमने पढ़ी द वेरी फर्स्ट शॉर्ट कमिंग नेगेटिव पॉइंट और और uh, इसका नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट uh, ये है कि इट्स अज्यूमिंग समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू द डेफिनेशन इज अज्यूमिंग दैट एवरी प्रैक्टिशनर ऑफ बिजनेस इज इज गोइंग टू हैव हाई मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स हाव एवर द रियालिटी इज येस सम ऑफ देम हैव हाई मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स बट नॉट एवरीबडी राधर मेजोरिटी ऑफ देम माइट नॉट हैव हाई मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स और हाई एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स और हाई ethical values the next thing that this uh, definition of freedman the the next uh, shortcoming of this definition of freedman is that he he is automatically assuming that the society in which the business is operating is well ordered meaning ke he is assuming ke whichever society in which the business operate is a systematic society is, is a logical society things are in order there's there's peace in order there's no uh, insecurity there there are no safety issues everything is right does that happen no just take examples now today if you think about karachi if you if you think about uh, uh, lahore if you if you talk about quetta if you talk about islamabad people are not safe for doing business the the society the civil society in which the people are doing business that's not well ordered 
Bhatta Mafia is in Karachi whereby everybody or all businesses are required to pay a specific amount of money. Then what is going on in Quetta is, is for you to see. Then what is going on in Lahore or in other cities of Pakistan is that maybe businessmen would come out and there would be people waiting and, and they would take away the money or maybe rob a bank or maybe rob a business and, and take away lots of money. So that means that the society in which a business is operating is not necessarily well ordered. And here you need to keep in mind that I'm not just, I gave an example of Pakistan, but then ideal civil society does not exist anywhere. You talk about developed countries, you talk about USA, United States of America, do you think everything is in order there? No. You find lots of people who are robbing banks, robbing grocery stores, taking things away, stealing things away, uh, 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 taking things uh, away from people. They, they're all doing that. That means that the definition of Friedman is basically based on an assumption that the uh, society in which the business operates is a well-ordered society, society which generally or most probably it is not the, the society in which the business operate is not a well-ordered society. We said bohat Muslim asylum issues and problems here. The third shortcoming to Milton Friedman uh, definition of CSR is that he gives less importance to production and distribution as compared to exchange. So. Uh, there's, there's less importance given to production and distribution as compared to exchange or trading. And the free economy concept is violated which says free entry, free exit and equal sharing of information. Now there are two points in this third shortcoming. One point is, the, or one disadvantage of the definition of Friedman is that Mr. Friedman is giving less importance to production and distribution as compared to exchange. So exchange of, of goods and services is a general concept that we have. You cannot have an exchange if there's no production and you cannot have an exchange if there's no uh, distribution. Whether production hogi, product and services generate honge, banenge, uske baad wo distribute honge, right place, right time per pochenge, uske baad exchange activity hogi. So that means that production, operation, exchange, they're all, they would all have equal importance, right? So what he's doing is he's giving lesser importance to production and sales and more importance to exchange. Um, the next thing which is wrong with this definition of Friedman is that he's violating the concept of a free economy. In my last lecture, I guess, we've, we've talked about free economy as well. A free economy is anybody can enter at any time that they want. Anybody can exit the economy anytime that they want. And when I say anybody, I automatically mean uh, businesses, corporations, and organizations. And the third assumption or the third characteristic of a free economy is that everybody who, who's uh, doing a business or who's involved in a free economy is going to have equal sharing of information or free access to information. Now, again, the question is, is that true today? Kya aap apni economy ko jab dekhte hain? Kya every business, to do they all have uh, equal access to information? No. Now people who, who know other people who are working in multiple offices might have more information, accurate information and better information as compared to you who knows nobody. So that means that jitne log in free economy mein trade kare hai, jitne businesses in free economy mein trade kare hai, sabke paas same information nahi hai. And, and coming back to our definition, agar ye definition is concept per base hui hai ki free economy hai, to kya aaj aapko free economy mil rahi hai? Nahi. Aapke entry per bhi restrictions ho sakti hai, aapke exit per bhi restrictions ho sakti hai, aur aapke equal sharing of information per bhi restrictions ho sakti hai, ya sabko equal, equal information nahi milti. So jab itni badi badi assumptions, ya itni badi badi uh, assumptions aapki ghalat ho, then how can your definition be a correct definition? So just summing this particular slide up with reference to Milton Friedman, a definition of CSR, he thought that everybody who was doing business would have high moral standards. Not true. He thought that uh, the society in which the businesses would operate would be a well-ordered systematic society. Again, not true. Not necessarily true. And finally, 
he thought that businesses would operate in a free economy which is free exit free entry and equal sharing of information and again that does not happen aapki entry barriers bhi hote hain aapke exit barriers bhi hote hain and every business in a free economy or every business in any economy does not have access to equal amount of information kisi ko zyada mil rahi hoti hai kisi ko kam mil rahi hoti hai and because of these shortcomings we can safely say ke jo friedman ki definition of csr hai it's not a very ideal or, or a very correct definition of csr the next uh, definition of csr jo ke hum padhenge is going to be from an economic perspective greatest social satisfaction is when individuals pursue self interest government alone cannot bear responsibilities uh, and there should be other entities like businesses like corporations who should share responsibilities with the government so the economic perspective simply is ke ji इंडिविजुअल्स को सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट प्रसू करना चाहिए एग्रीड आप जब इंडिविजुअल्स की बात करते हैं आप एंटिटीज की बात करते हैं तो कॉरपोरेशन भी एक एंटिटी है राइट विच इज एन एंटिटी अदर देन द शेयर होल्डर सो दिस पर्टिकुलर डेफिनेशन बेसिकली सेज दट येस द कॉरपोरेशन हैज द राइट टू प्रसू सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट एंड वट इज गोइंग टू बी द सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट इन दिस केस सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट इन दिस केस इज गोइंग टू बी प्रॉफिट ऑन द अदर हैंड दिस डेफिनेशन ऑन द इकोनॉमिक परस्पेक्टिव से अगर हम सी एस आर को देखें दिस ऑल्सो सेज दट when we say that government is responsible uh, to take care of the society then you need to think that society is a very large entity bahut sare log hain Uh, for example agar hum pakistan ki baat kare to we are almost talking about more than 18 crore log in pakistan and when we say government that's a handful of people now under ideal conditions do you think our government would would be able to take care of all these people in a very good manner ideally yes but realistically no because government yes resources hai paisa hai but kahin na kahin constraints bhi honge sab taxes nahi dete hain sab uh, bijli ka bill nahi dete hain sab ap, apni jo jo consumers hain jo jo unko paisa government ko dena chahiye wo nahi de sakte so point is that government alone cannot do work for the betterment of the society phir question yaad aata acha government nahi kar sakti to phir kaun karega that is where corporations have to come in that's the point in time when the corporation say okay or or we think that corporations ek aisi entity hai jo ki itni badi entity hai jiske paas itni sari resources hain jiska size bahut bada hai why don't they help the government to help the society that is that is that is the thought process that goes on in the mind of people now resulted in now the, the first two points ke ji self interest ko pursue karna chahiye aur government akele society ka uh, dhyan nahi rakh sakti hai uh, this resulted in looking beyond economic gains uh, furthermore uh, this these two uh, uh, concepts or these two thoughts also resulted in the development of duty versus responsibility perspective and uh then again uh, you you started thinking ke ji different aspects cannot be ignored by businesses or society cannot be ignored by businesses so what i'm trying to say here is ke ji yes we agree that individuals should pursue self interest and organizations should also pursue self interest but we also think that government cannot alone take the responsibility for the betterment of a society acha now with these two ideas in mind what can we do one we say corporations are big enough large enough have enough resources financial human physical that they need to look beyond economic gains unko profitability ke alawa kuch aur sochna chahiye now wo kuch aur sochna kya hai wo kuch aur sochna ye hai ki hum apni society ke liye corporations apni society ke liye how can they how can we help our society furthermore the corporations also need to think that what is their duty and what is their responsibility now duty is something which the corporation has to do something just say wo shy away nahi ho sakte they need to do it this way or that way and the duty of the corporation is profit making corporation bani hi profit making ke liye hai shareholders ko profits dena hai 
On the other hand, having said that, that the corporations have a duty to make profit, the corporations have certain responsibility as well. Responsibility is that you think or you assume that this work is not going to be able to do this work. That's why you do this work. That's what responsibility is, right? So corporations keeping, keeping in mind the resources that they have, corporations keeping in mind the, 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 the influential power that they have, corporation keeping in mind ki jo unka scope kitna hai un, unka unki wo kitni badi uh, abadi ko ya kitne zyada logon ko wo influence kar sakte hain aapki corporations ki responsibility hoti hai ki wo uh, society ki betterment ke liye kaam kare so basically corporations ki ek duty hogi aur ek responsibility hogi duty is going to be profit making and responsibility is going to be uh, keeping the society in mind and doing things for the betterment of the society and then uh, these aspects cannot be ignored by businesses the businesses today have to take into account ki ji responsibility responsibility hai duty duty hai we cannot just think about profit making but we have to think about other things as well that is what the economic perspective is. Then the next perspective is, is with reference to the common good that, that organizations, individuals, corporations need to do. Now Keith Davis uh, the, is basically said that the consideration of social needs and wants and desires by the organization decision maker can be considered as CSR. So this particular definition of CSR was basically given by Keith Davis and he said that when companies keep in mind or when companies decision makers keep in mind social needs and wants and desires that is what corporate social responsibility so company agar society ki needs and wants or desires ko zehen mein rakhti hai or maybe products and services ko produce kar deti hai jo ke society ko chahiye hai that is what corporate social responsibility is so if the society wants xyz product and the company keeping in mind the desire the needs and the wants of the society starts producing product a b c or xyz then that means that that company is socially responsible and then again the next uh, the definition of corporate social responsibility came from Hopkins and he said that CSR is concerned with treating stakeholders ethically or in a socially responsible manner. Or, uh, Remember last lecture mein jab humne ye baat ki thi ke bahut vague definitions hain corporate social responsibility ki ya corporate social responsibility ki definitions clear nahi hain. This is exactly what I mean by that. That okay, CSR is concerned with treating stakeholders ethically. But then, what is ethical treatment of stakeholders? Kya, kya actions honge? Kya cheeze honge jisko hum kehte ki ji ethical treatment of stakeholders hai? Now, itni ye vague statement hai ki aapke liye ethical treatment alag ho sakti hai aur mere liye ethical treatment alag ho sakti hai. So, we don't know. Maybe you and I will not agree to, to what ethical treatment should be given to the stakeholders. So again, it is vague term, it is unclear, it is grey. We cannot know as to what Hopkins is talking about. So these were the uh, various definitions which we multiple logo ne, multiple researchers ne, again very learned people ne, CSR ki thi. but we still feel that CSR ki jo ye definitions abhi humne padhi hain they're not complete because humne Friedman ki definition mein bhi humne uh, shortcomings dekhi then we looked at the economic perspective humne uske baare mein baat ki phir humne Davis and Hopkins ki bhi definitions uh, discuss ki humne kaha ki nahi ji they're also not complete they're, they do not give a whole view of what corporate social responsibility is. Now, CSR uh, is a continuous process. It's not that I will CSR today or I will not do CSR today. Uh, corporations hai, October 3rd ko ek aaya, bahut devastation hui, bahut damage hua, Azad Kashmir was completely wiped off. I, uh, my corporation invo gets involved in corporate social responsibility for three months and then that's it. I don't even think about it. I don't even talk about what corporate social responsibility is. Now, these activities whereby you are helping people for a short period of time is not what corporate social responsibility is. You need to understand, write it down somewhere and drink it that corporate social responsibility is a long-term procedure. It's not one day, two day, five day, one month. It's a long-term ongoing activity. corporation it doesn't have a life, it's an ongoing activity. It's corporate social responsibility. It's again a long-term ongoing activity. Now, Simon Zetek uh, uh, developed the set that 
development if CSR in terms of development of CSR in terms of three generations he basically said that uh, again this particular uh, uh, concept of CSR was given by Simon Zedek and he said that CSR can be developed in three different generations now the first generation what they do is that CSR does not interfere with commercial successes now how will you understand this before listening to me or before reading the slides you understand that jab hum corporations ki baat karte hain corporations ki bhi generations aati hain corporation ekdam se bahut badi corporation nahi ban sakti steadily and slowly corporation apni true form leti hai and with reference to that uh, simon zedek said that uh, whenever we talking corporations corporations mein csr ki jo development hoti hai wo three generations mein hoti hai the first generation is that csr does not interfere with commercial success where which basically means is that the company will only be concerned with corporate uh, will only be concerned with profit making aur csr ke bare mein sochegi nahi usko pata hoga ki csr kya hai but that's about it you're not going to really think about it so ठीक है हमारा काम प्रॉफिट मेकिंग है हमारा काम शेयर होल्डर्स के इंटरेस्ट को सेफ गार्ड करना है एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी गोइंग टू डू अगर ऐसी कोई एक्टिविटी आती है कोई अर्थ को कहा हाँ हम इतना सारा पैसा दे देंगे हम हम टेंट्स दे देंगे हम खाना पीना भिजवा देंगे बट दैट्स अबाउट इट किसी भी ऐसी कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन अराइज होती है जहां पर सी एस आर वर्सेज कंपनी सक्सेस आएगी वी विल ऑटोमेटिकली विदाउट थिंकिंग ट्वाइस चूज कंपनी कंपनी प्रॉफिट कंपनी एक्टिविटीज एंड नॉट कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट इज योर फर्स्ट जनरेशन द सेकेंड जनरेशन ऑफ सी एस आर इज इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म स्ट्रैटेजी वे बाय वेन सी एस आर बिकम सो द फर्स्ट जनरेशन इज द इनिशियल corporation that you have now with time uh, as, as the uh, corporation grows and becomes bigger then people start thinking can nice csr is very important the consumers know about it the customers are talking about it uh, well through csr hum hum apni competitive advantage le sakte hain through csr hum differentiate ho sakte hain csr aapke employees morale ko bhi bahut positively affect karti hai so let's do something about it and in the second generation uh, of development of csr what you do is that you make csr in the integral part of your long term strategy you say okay the company is going to be committed to csr we will be uh, working for corporate uh, social we will be working for the society we will be doing activities which the society will benefit from and uh, keeping all these things in mind we're going to make csr an integral part of our strategy jab csr strategy ka part ban jayegi to automatically csr system ka part ban jayegi jo ki organization mein follow ho raha hai and chahe bande चेंज हो शिफ्ट हो रिप्लेस हो सिंस सी एस आर इज पार्ट ऑफ अ सिस्टम सी एस आर की इन्वॉल्वमेंट या सी एस आर पर एक्टिविटीज जो है या कंपनी जो है वो कॉर्पोरेट सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल होती रहेगी ऐसे एक्टिविटीज करती रहेगी जो कि कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के रियाल में आती है the third generation is when the company makes significant contribution towards issues as poverty uh, environment degradation and education so third generation of development of csr is when the company says okay uh, we are big enough in terms of resources that we can have a very influential and powerful impact on the society and they start thinking ke as as entities in the society as 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 uh, uh, things uh, or as corporations uh, operating in a society hamari society ki taraf certain obligations and responsibilities hai aur company khud initiative lekar uh, topics like poverty pe topics like uh, environment degradation pe topics like uh, education pe kaam karna shuru kar deti hai uh, they 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 have uh, वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ताकि पॉवर्टी खत्म हो दे वुड ओपन स्कूल सो दैट आपकी मिडिल या लोअर एजुकेशन सिस्टम आपका इम्प्रूव हो दे वुड टू सेमिनार्स एंड एंड एजुकेट पीपल अबाउट इन्वायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन एंड उसको कैसे कम किया जा सकता है हाउ टू प्लांट मोर ट्रीज हाउ टू कीप योर इन्वायरमेंट क्लीन एयर पोल्यूशन कैसे कम करें वाटर पोल्यूशन कैसे कम करें और लैंड पोल्यूशन कैसे कम करें सो अकॉर्डिंग टू साइमन जेक दीज वर द थ्री जनरेशन दैट अ कंपनी फॉलो उसके कंपनी जो है सबसे पहले फर्स्ट जनरेशन बनती है उसमें कंपनी अपनी सक्सेस को देख रही होती है और सी एस आर के बारे में बहुत कम सोच रही होती है या नहीं सोच रही होती सेकेंड जनरेशन में द कंपनी मेक्स सी एस आर इन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द लॉन्ग टर्म स्ट्रैटेजी वे बाई द कंपनी रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सी एस आर एंड थिंग्स सी एस इट हैज टू बिकम पार्ट ऑफ 
for planning it has to become part of our strategy so that the company can pursue it and and get the objectives that they need to get and finally the third generation aapki proactive approach towards csr ho jati where by the company is itself taking initiatives itself doing activities to promote um, education to eradicate poverty poverty and to get rid of environmental degradation now again इसी के रेफरेंस से या इसी पर्टिकुलर चीज को आर सी बी कैरल ने एक फर्क तरीके से एक्सप्लेन किया यानी सै दैट सी एस आर वुड कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ना वट आर दो स्टेजेस गोइंग टू बी दैट एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो होती है उसके चार गोल्स होंगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वो गोल्स क्या हैं इकोनॉमिक गोल्स लीगल गोल्स एथिकल गोल्स एंड डिस्क्रिशनिंग गोल्स इकोनॉमिक गोल्स क्या होंगे अगेन प्रॉफिट मेकिंग एंड दिस इज वॉट मिल्टन फ्रीडमेन से डेट एज लॉन्ग एज द कंपनी इज मेकिंग प्रॉफिट द कंपनी इज बींग सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल लेकिन आर सी बी कार विल डिड नॉट स्टॉप हेयर ही सेट इन एडिशन टू द इकोनॉमिक गोल्स कंपनी विल हैव सर्टन लीगल गोल्स एज वेल लीगल गोल्स आर बेसिकली दैट द कंपनी हैज टू स्टे विद इन द लॉ विद इन द रेगुलेशन विद इन द पॉलिसीज दैट देव सेट फॉर दमसेल्स देन द कंपनी ऑल्सो हैव सर्टन एथिकल गोल्स एंड एंड दैट वुड इन्वॉल्व के जी आप प्रोडक्ट कैसी बनाते हैं अपनी अपनी एम्प्लॉयज के साथ कैसी एक्टिविटी करते हैं अपने अपने एम्प्लॉयज को कैसे ट्रीट करते हैं वट एवर यू डू इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और विद दी आउटसाइड सोसाइटी इट हैज टू बी एथिकल चाहे आप कंज्यूमर्स के साथ डील करें चाहे आप कस्टमर्स के साथ डील करें चाहे आप एम्प्लॉयज के साथ डील करें इन शॉर्ट आप किसी भी स्टेक होल्डर के साथ डील कर रहे होंगे द कंपनी हैव टू ट्रीट द स्टेक होल्डर फेयरली जस्टली एंड रीजनेबली एंड एथिक and finally the company also have discretionary goals as well discretionary goals are those goals which are at the discretion of the company ke ji kaun se extra goals other than ethical other than legal and other, other than economic wo aise kaun se different goals ho sakte hain jo ke company apne liye set kar sakti hai so this is again a four stage continuum jo ke corporate social responsibility ka ho sakta hai ki corporate social responsibility would involve all these four goals economic goals legal goals ethical goals and discretionary goals now another person by the name of fitch said that csr is an attempt to resolve social problems caused by businesses so this other person by the name of fitch also came up with the definition of csr that csr is basically about resolving problems that are caused by businesses now that's a very interesting view actually because a lot of people feel ke ji why is corporate social responsibility the responsibility or the duty of of corporations because जब उन्होंने ही गंद फैलाया है तो वही गंद साफ करें एयर पोल्यूशन मेजॉरिटी टाइम कंपनीज की होती है कॉरपोरेशंस की होती है तो उन्हीं को साफ करना चाहिए वाटर uh, पोल्यूशन कॉरपोरेशन अपना वेस्ट मटेरियल पानी में डाल देते तो वाई शुड वी डू इट वाई शुड द सोसाइटी डू इट और वाई शुड यू एंड आई डू इट इट शुड बी द कॉरपोरेशन हु शुड डू इट राइट दैट्स वॉट दे फील एंड दैट्स वॉट फिट सेट एज वेल दैट वेन कंपनीज are attempting to solve issues that they themselves had cre have created is what corporate social responsibility is is time par hum thoda sa this particular statement ke bare mein soche then the point is ki par to corporate social responsibility ki ki kya importance hai because if we agree with this definition phir to jis bande ne galat kaam kiya wohi agar usko durust kar raha hai sahi kar raha hai to usse badi baat to koi bhi nahi hai if i have done something wrong and if i have broken something or if i have thrown garbage on the floor and then i'm cleaning it up am i being nice no i'm not being nice because i was the one who made the room dirty then i'm also the i i should be the one to clean it up as well so i personally speaking agar main is definition of csr ke bare mein discuss karu to i really do feel ke this definition of csr is not even it's it's not something which is which makes you think yaar ke phir what is csr what are we talking about what are we thinking of jis bande ne galat kaam kiya wo saaf kare aapko ko very nice very good you've done a great job no you've not done a great job it becomes your responsibility to clean the mess up that you've made yourself so that's what the definition that fit said now boy said that it is the interest of the business to adopt a view of csr that includes a duty to help solve social problems and not as a duty that will benefit the business this is a very interesting definition of csr that was given बिन बाबू कुछ बिजनेसेस ये करते हैं कि जी हम इसलिए सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल एक्टिविटीज में इन्वॉल्व होते हैं बिकॉज लेटर डाउन द ईयर्स और लेटर डाउन द टाइम ये एक्टिविटीज हमें बेनिफिट करेंगी सो वट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एक्चुअली डूइंग इज इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एक्चुअली 
not thinking about the society but the organization is thinking about themselves kyun kyunki wo isliye acha kaam kar rahe hain isliye society ke liye kaam kar rahe hain ke kal ko humko fayda hoga ya kal ko organization ko fayda hoga that means that's a very selfish approach towards doing corporate social responsibility aap corporate social responsibility isliye karte hain because aap society ko in general behtar banana chahte hain for everybody and you do not want anything in return you are not looking for benefits in in the present or in the future or in the in the far future as well that's what social responsibility is but boy said ke ji corporate social responsibility is that you're trying to resolve issues you're trying to solve problems because uh, you think that solving problems today will help you uh, or will benefit the organizations tomorrow for example let's say that we have a, a paper manufacturing company okay and पेपर कैसे बनता है ट्रीज से ट्रीज कटेंगी तो पेपर बनेगा सो वट माई कंपनी इज डूइंग एस एट मैं कहती हूँ कि जी माई कॉर्पोरेट आई एम बींग वेरी सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड जी मैं जितनी ट्रीज काटती हूँ मैं उतनी उससे डबल ट्रीज जो है वो प्लांट कर देती हूँ क्वेश्चन एम आई बींग सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल येस एंड नो अगर मैं ये सोच कर ट्रीज प्लांट करती हूँ कि भाई मैं ट्रीज काट रही हूँ तो ऑक्सीजन का मसला पड़ेगा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का प्रॉब्लम पड़ेगा क्लीन एयर नहीं होगी ओजोन के इश्यूज पड़ेंगे सो वट आई नीड टू डू एस फॉर एवरी वन ट्री दट आई काट आई नीड टू प्लांट टू ताकि आपकी इन्वायरमेंट क्लीन हो आपका 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 एटमोसफेयर साफ हो आपको ओजोन के इशूज ना हो और बीमारियाँ कम हो एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ दैट इज बींग सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल बट अगर मेरा जो मेरी सोच है वो ये है कि भाई अगर मैं ट्रीज नहीं लगाऊंगी तो 10 साल के बाद ट्रीज खत्म हो जाएंगी तो फिर मेरे बिजनेस का क्या होगा और फिर वेयर विल आई गेट ट्रीज फ्रॉम और फिर मेरी पेपर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी का क्या होगा एंड देन माय कंपनी इज गोइंग टू गो बैंक एंड देन माई कंपनी विल क्लोज दैट इज नॉट वट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज बिकॉज इस सेकेंड थॉट प्रोसेस में वट यू डूइंग इज यू प्लांटिंग ट्रीज बिकॉज यूर थिंकिंग ऑफ योर ओन सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट कल को आप अपने इंटरेस्ट के बारे में सोच कर ट्रीज को प्लांट करते हैं आप ट्रीज सोसाइटी के लिए प्लांट नहीं करें आप ट्रीज एटमोसफेयर के लिए प्लांट नहीं करें आप ट्रीज फ्रेश एयर क्लीन एयर के लिए प्लांट नहीं करें आप ट्रीज इसलिए प्लांट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि कल को आपको और ट्रीज की जरूरत है या आपके बिजनेस को पच्चीस साल बाद और ट्रीज की जरूरत होगी सो दैट इज वॉट Bowie said that uh, it is in the interest of businesses to adopt a view of corporate social responsibility that includes a duty to help social uh, solve social problems and not as a duty that will benefit the business. So Bowie said that companies को corporate social responsibility को adopt करना चाहिए because it helps the society and they should not adopt uh, 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 corporate social responsibility views with respect के जी कल को ये जो हम आज काम कर रहे हैं ये हमारी कॉरपोरेशन को ही बेनिफिट होगा नाउ वट दिस स्लाइड इज गोइंग टू शो यूर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्लाइड बाय द वे दैट दिस स्लाइड इज अगेन गिविंग अस अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉरपोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड दिस इज द परफेक्ट द आइडियल दी डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉरपोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जिसमें हमारा पूरा पीछे जितना भी हमने अब तक डिस्कशन किया है वो सब इसमें आकर अमेलगमेट हो जाता है नाउ वट इज दिस डेफिनेशन सी एस आर नाउ csr now is not only the maximization of shareholders value but also of stakeholders value it is about the management of a company's impact on stakeholders the environment and the community in which it operates it is about the integrity with which the company governs itself how it fulfills its mission the values it has what it wants to stand for and how it engages with transparency hence the organization have to move from the financial bottom line to social and environmental bottom line i'll just give you a second to read this particular definition again and then i'm going to uh, we can have a discussion on it have a look at the slide and read it all over again or if you would have your handouts in front of you i would rather that you read those is, those be better because they would be right there in front uh, of you now this definition of csr is the ideal definition there is no vagueness about it there is no ambiguity about it it is very clear straightforward specific samne sab cheez clear clarity 
right? Now this definition of CSR, I guess it's self-explanatory, I don't need to go through it because it encompasses the entire discussion that we've had so far. And this definition basically says that it is all about the social and the environmental bottom line and not the financial bottom line. Financial bottom line kya hati hai jab aap income statement banate hain aur aapka last line positive so profit negative to loss that is what the financial bottom line is at the end of the whole at the end of the day or at the end of the year was the company profitable or was the company in the loss that is what the financial bottom line is Kiji, bottom line bata hai, company the profit kamaya hai nahi. that is the thinking that we need to change that's the that's the mindset that we need to change with corporate social responsibility Ke companies should not be concerned with the financial bottom line. They should more be concerned with the social and the environmental bottom line. Meaning that the company should ask itself questions, ke maine society ke liye kya kiya? What have we done for the betterment of the society? What have we done for the improvement of the environment? Did our actions further degrade the environment or improve the environment? So these are the questions that the companies need to ask instead of just asking, ke, were we profitable or not? Kitna, kitna profit as compared to last year, kitna profit ban kamaya. So the, the mindset has to shift from the financial bottom line to a social and an environmental bottom line. So that is what this definition is. Again, a very important slide, a very important definition because is pura chapter one jo ke humne padha hai, uska crux ya summary yehi hai. Because isse pehle hum jitna discussion kar chuke hai, humne wo discussion kya hi kyu? Because we wanted to come to this very definition of corporate social responsibility. Now, let's just go beyond and let's now understand uh, the nitty gritty details of what CSR is. Now, again, I'm sure that by now I've managed to make you understand that corporate social responsibility is not philanthropy. Corporate social responsibility is not charity. I know that there are certain hard words in this uh, lecture and you might find further hard or difficult words in your book as well because a uh, book mein bohat sare hard uh, wo, yeah, difficult words and but please don't be discouraged by that just keep a dictionary near you or if you have uh, access to internet to aap apna laptop you have a desktop apne paas rakhe and just google the word or open up a dictionary to find them so aapke liye hi acha hoga so because jitna aap ye jargon ko samajhte hain aur seekhte hain utne hi aapke communication skills or writing skills improve hote hain so that's just a, a tip that i've given you today in this lecture okay so what I was trying to say is that I hope that by now that you've understood that CSR is not charity CSR is an ongoing process it's a commitment that the corporation gives to the society that yes we care about you and we're going to do something about you and 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 us mein mission bhi aata hai us mein values bhi aayenge us mein goals bhi aayega us mein bahut sari cheeze aayengi jo ki humne abhi pichli slide mein padhi now there are generally four aspects of corporate social responsibility now what are those four aspects of corporate social responsibility they are responsibility uh, accountability sustainability and social contract let's go and discuss each one of them one by one First is responsibility. Now, whenever we are talking of responsibility, we need to make a distinction between corporate social performance, corporate social responsiveness, and corporate social responsibility. हम इन तीनों में हमें distinction करनी है. Now, सबसे पहले corporate social performance है. Corporate social performance क्या होती है? Corporate social performance, as CRP में इस abbreviation में लिखा है, is management of corporate relationship with its stakeholders. उसमें सारा जो हमने functional areas की बात की थी, I guess first lecture में, वो सब उसमें involve होते हैं कि जी management जो है corporation की, उन functional areas को कैसे manage करती है, so that a positive relationship is developed with the stakeholders. Sare stakeholders, employees ko salary chahiye, shareholders ko dividend chahiye, suppliers ko paisa chahiye, creditors ko paisa chahiye, banks aap se kuch maang rahe hote hain. So with corporate social performance ke agar hum baat karein, then that basically means ke through CRP, you're managing your relationship with your stakeholders. Agar aapki jo performance hai, corporate social performance jo hai, wo strong hoogi, achi hoogi, to aapki relationships positive hoongi or strong hoongi and vice versa. Now, the second thing with respect to responsibility is corporate social responsiveness. Corporate social responsiveness is capacity of a corporation to respond to social pressures. For example, if today, 
everybody living in Pakistan says, no, we are not going to use polythene bags. What do you think corporations will do? I can surely safely say that corporations would start making paper bags because society ka pressure itna zada hoga with respect to KG polythene bags khatam karo and paper bags shuru karo ke the companies and the organizations will not have a choice unko karna padega they will not think twice about it so when the corporations are going to respond to the pressures of the society and start producing paper bags instead of polythene bags that is what corporate social responsiveness is similarly koi particular need hai koi particular want is society ki jo ke uh, uh, corporation identify karti hai aur us need and want ko fulfill karne ke liye product ya idea ya service develop karti hai that's also called responsiveness how quickly can you incorporate uh, the changes that have generated from the society into your organization that's what responsiveness is and corporate social responsibility is, is something that, that we've talked about. So I'm not going to go into much detail with that. So when we talk about responsibility, you need to do this distinction in these three distinctions. Because the responsibility is going to have all these aspects to it. In this case, your corporate social performance will come. Because the, your, your economic rewards are extremely important. We don't say that when we study CSR, we don't leave our profit. हम ये बिल्कुल भी नहीं कह रहे सिमिलरली आपको रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस होना भी रिस्पॉन्सिव होना भी जरूरी है रिस्पॉन्सिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ ने फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ नीड्स एंड वॉन्ट्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ द जनरल थिंग्स दैट यू सोसाइटी नीड फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी भी उसके अंदर आएगा ना अगेन विद रेफरेंस टू रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अगर हम हिस्ट्री uh, में जाएँ और हम हिस्ट्री को स्टडी करें तो हिस्ट्री भी आपको मल्टीपल व्यूज देती है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फर्स्ट इज द क्रिएटिविटी व्यू ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री से इज इट क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन आर एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट टू डील विद चैलेंजेस अगर आप हिस्ट्री को स्टडी करें फ्रॉम द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी यू विल सी दैट दोज नेशन दोज इंडिविजुअल्स दोज ग्रुप्स दोज कॉरपोरेशन हु डिड नॉट गो विद क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन दे पेरिस्ट सो सोसाइटी के बिजनेसेस के चैलेंजेस को मीट करने के लिए इट इज इम्पेरेटिव इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर बिजनेसेस टू बी क्रिएटिव एंड टू बी इनोवेटिव बिकॉज इफ दे नॉट क्रिएटिव एंड इफ दे नॉट इनोवेटिव देन द कंपनी विल नॉट बी एबल टू सिक्सीड द कंपनी विल नॉट बी एबल टू ग्रो द कंपनी विल नॉट बी एबल टू बी प्रॉफिटेबल एंड फाइनली द कंपनी विल पेरिश एंड नॉट बी अ कंपनी एनी मोर नेक्स्ट इज द लिबरेशन व्यू ऑफ हिस्ट्री अगेन हम हिस्ट्री के ही परस्पेक्टिव से देख रहे हैं या हम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी को डिस्कस कर रहे हैं नाउ द लिबरेशन व्यू ऑफ हिस्ट्री से लर्न लेसन ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट एंड फॉल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट मीनिंग दैट थ्रू हिस्ट्री द सर्टन लेसन दैट यू नीड टू लर्न पहले लेसन इज एम्पावरमेंट के जी यू यू के नॉट डू एवरी थिंग यूर सेल्फ यू नीड टू एम्पावर पीपल बिकॉज एज अ ह्यूमन बींग आपकी आपकी केपेबिलिटीज की लिमिट होती है आप एक दिन जागेंगे आप दूसरे दिन जागेंगे तीसरे दिन यूल फॉल सिक एंड यूल गो टू स्लीप बिकॉज आप इतना ज्यादा अर्सा जाग नहीं सकते सो वट आई मीन टू सेट एज अ ह्यूमन बींग एज एन इंडिविजुअल आपको एम्पावरमेंट या अपनी अथॉरिटी जो है वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करनी है अमंग डिफरेंट पीपल सो दैट दे कैन वर्क एंड देन फॉल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट नीड फॉर इम्प्रूवमेंट एंड बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ चेंज फॉल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट इज के वेन एवर यू गो ऑन द टॉप द ओनली द ओनली वे नेक्स्ट मिस द बॉटम एंड यू वुड सी इट एवरी टाइम जो बहुत लोग ऊपर जाते हैं फिर वो नीचे भी उतनी ही जोरों से गिरते हैं सो द हाई यू गो द हार्डर यू फॉल एंड दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल एज द फॉल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट सो कीपिंग इन माइंड द फॉल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दर इज अ कंटिन्यूस नीड फॉर इम्प्रूवमेंट यू के नॉट से जी अब मैं सबसे अच्छी कॉरपोरेशन बन गया हूँ मैं आई एम द बेस्ट and that's it i'm not going to improve upon myself i'm not going to learn new things i'm not going to come up with new products you need to understand that in order ke aap top pe ja kar fall na kare you need to go for continuous improvement and you need to understand change as well because agar aap changing times ke sath apni organization ko change nahi karenge then automatically aapki organization one day or the other is going to go down and 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 you will not be there in the future agar aap apne continuous improvement to believe nahi karte a continuous change par believe nahi karte next is that ethically accepted corporate activity and profit making are not mutually exclusive again we are we are talking about responsibility just taaki main aapko in sab cheezon ko you might feel in in slides especially chapter number 1 because the, the lecture the concept is new when you're studying it for the first time you just might feel ke 
बहुत एब्स्ट्रैक्ट में हम चीजें करें सो वट आई ट्राई टू डू ऑफ एन ऑन एस कि मैं चीजों को एक एक आपको फुल पिक्चर दिखा देती हूँ वट वी डूइंग इज वी स्टडिंग फोर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और उसमें पहला एस्पेक्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का था हमने जब रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की बात की तो हमने उसमें परफॉर्मेंस की बात भी की रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस की बात की भी और कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की बात की क्यों बिकॉज जब हम सी एस आर का पहला एस्पेक्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पढ़ते हैं उसमें ये सारी चीजें कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कॉर्पोरेट सोशल परफॉर्मेंस एंड कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिस आर पार्ट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सिमिलरली इन टर्म्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री और इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर पास्ट हमको मल्टीपल ऐसी चीजें हैं जो कि हमें बताती हैं कि हम किस तरीके से आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो है वो रिस्पॉन्सिबल हो सकती है जब हम एम्पावरमेंट की बात करते हैं जब हम चेंज मैनेजमेंट की बात करते हैं हम कंटिन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट की बात करते हैं दिस बिकम्स अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपनी कि जी वो ये सब काम करे वो अप टू डेट रहे वो चेंज को रिजिस्ट ना करे वो कंटिन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट की तरफ जाए एंड देन अगेन इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपनी दैट दे शुड थिंक दैट एथिक एथिकल एक्टिविटीज एथिकल बिहेवियर एंड प्रॉफिट आर नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव मीन्स कि अगर एक होगा तो दूसरा नहीं होगा अगर एथिकल एक्टिविटीज है तो प्रॉफिट मेकिंग नहीं है या अगर प्रॉफिट मेकिंग है तो एथिकल एक्टिविटीज नहीं है और इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ अ कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू बी प्रॉफिटेबल देन इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट द कंपनी वुड हैव टू इंडल्ज इन अन एथिकल प्रैक्टिस सो मीनिंग कि आप आपकी कंपनी आपकी कॉरपोरेशन प्रॉफिटेबल भी हो सकती है और एथिकल एक्टिविटीज भी कर सकते हैं दोनों चीजें साइड बाय साइड चल सकती हैं एंड सिंस वो चल सकती हैं देन विद रेफरेंस टू सीएसआर इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द कॉरपोरेशन की उन दोनों को साथ लेकर चले द नेक्स्ट इज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन विक्टर एंड विक्टम विद रेफरेंस टू डोमिनेशन एक्सप्लॉयटेशन एंड ऑपरेशन ना जब यह विक्टर और विक्टम की बात करते हैं विक्टर कौन होता है वेन यूर इन वॉर द पर्सन हु विन्स इज द विक्टर एंड द पर्सन हु लूज इज बिकम्स द विक्टम राइट दैट्स द डिस्टिंगशन और द डिफ्रेंसिएशन बिटवीन विक्टर एंड विक्टम ना जब आपका विक्टम होता है विद रेफरेंस टू द विक्टर एंड द विक्टम रिलेशनशिप आपका विक्टर डोमिनेट करता है विक्टम पर आपका विक्टर एक्सप्लॉयट uh, करता है विक्टम को और आपका विक्टर अप्रेस करता है विक्टम को Now that is what happens in a victor-victim situation. Now the same concept applied to corporations and society. Corporations are using the resources of society. Natural resources, किसी की they're not anybody's right. It's generally पूरी society की होती हैं. And corporations उनको use करती हैं. उनको use करके products बनाती हैं और फिर society को बेच देती हैं. एंड वॉट दर डूइंग इज के इस पर्टिकुलर केस में आपकी कॉरपोरेशन जो है वो विक्टर होती है और आपकी सोसाइटी जो है वो विक्टम होती है बिकॉज कॉरपोरेशन आर ओनली कंसर्न विद प्रॉफिट मेकिंग ओनली एंड देर नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग फॉर द सोसाइटी जब वो सोसाइटी के लिए कुछ भी नहीं कर रही होती और सिर्फ उनको यूज किए जाती हैं उनकी रिसोर्सेज को यूज किए जाती हैं उनकी वेल्थ को यूज किए जाती हैं तो सोसाइटी को वो डोमिनेट भी कर रही होती हैं एक्सप्लॉयट भी कर रही होती हैं और उनको अप्रेस भी कर रही होती हैं so that is how the relationship between the victor and the victim can be expressed in terms of the relationship between corporations and the society as well this way of profit making is not sustainable this results in degradation and social upheaval so you need to realize ke jo hum kehte hain ki ji agar victim victor ya victor victim relationship ho between corporations and society this is not a healthy relationship it kabhi bhi nahi chal sakta ye this is a one way relationship iska result kya hoga aapki environmental degradation hogi aapki environment khatam hogi aapke socio economical consequences honge aapke political consequences honge aur in general aapki society in general jo hai wo kharab ho jayegi wo kabhi bhi nahi chalegi so with reference to the first aspect of corporate social responsibility which is responsibility you need to understand ke ji corporations ki responsibility hai economic responsibilities bhi hai aur social responsibilities bhi hai and corporations should realize ke the relationship between the corporations and the society has to be a positive healthy relationship it should not be a victor victim relationship and the next aspect of csr is accountability accountability कि जब हम बात करते हैं द थ्री बेसिक टाइप्स और द थ्री बेसिक एस्पेक्ट्स 
uh, or there are three basic scopes of accountability. The very first one is called as an inner circle. Inner circle is clear-cut responsibilities for the efficient execution of the economic function. Inner circle accountability is when the company is doing what it is supposed to do. And what is it supposed to do? It is supposed to make profit. So when the company is doing اپنے responsibilities کے بارے میں بہت clear ہے اس کو exactly specifically پتا ہے کہ اس کو کیا کرنا ہے and that is profit making that is what is called as an inner circle of accountability the intermediate circle of accountability is responsibility to exercise the economic function with sensitive awareness of changing social values and priorities so that means that if you are opening up a factory and you are producing waste which can be uh, uh, which can degrade the environment or you're producing waste which is harmful for land or, or for water, what you do is you take special care, your corporation spends money, and proper disposal mechanism banai apne corporation ke andar taake jo waste material hai, usko properly dispose of kiya jai, taake aapki environment, aapka land, aapka water, aapka air, kharaab na ho. So that is what your intermediate circle of accountability is. Next is your outer circle of accountability. Outer circle of accountability is emerging responsibilities in actively improving the social environment. Again, uh, outer circle is, is a proactive approach towards accountability, whereby you say that no, my other many responsibilities are and and you yourself take up responsibilities. Ke ji, main, main itna bada hun, meri itni badi corporations hai, I want to do something for the environment. Ismei aap poverty ke liye bhi kaam karenge, ismei aap education ke liye bhi kaam karenge, literacy ke liye bhi kaam karenge, environment upgradation ke liye bhi kaam karenge, and so on and so forth. So that means ke jo sabse limited scope of accountability hai, wo inner circle mein, because you're only concerned with the basic. And sabse uh, jo, jo aapka vast scope of accountability hai, ya bada aspect of accountability hai, that is what you're outer circle is and when the companies are thinking in terms or, or when, they are, when the companies are being accountable in terms of their outer circle automatically our perspective towards corporate social responsibility is going to be a very positive and healthy uh, concept of CSR. On the other hand, when you believe in inner circle ki accountability, pe belief karenge, us case mein, aapka response towards CSR is going to be minimal and very, very basic. You us, us don't believe in it. The third aspect of corporate social responsibility is sustainability. Sustainability is that CSR requires revolution in the way that companies think and act. Just now, we talked about responsibility. We said that if a company thinks like a victim-victim relationship, oppression, or belief, or distrust, پر بلیف کرتی ہے یا لوگوں کو نہ خوش رکھنا چاہتی ہے اور وہ بلیف کرتی ہے کہ جی پروفٹ میکنگ is the only way forward then that is not something which is going to make the company sustainable so that means that companies need to revolutionize their thinking and they need to think in a very different aspect because in today's world, in 2012, sustainability is not profitability only. Or sustainability cannot only be achieved through profitability. Today, stakeholders would want something extra other than money. They would want goodwill, they would go want good reputation, they would want activities that would benefit the environment, they would want activities or programs that are going to benefit the communities. Or, or the workers. So generally, uh, CSR would require that companies uh, revolutionize their thoughts and, and, and their actions. The design, communication, and implementation within the organization and the society should be geared for support and motivation of all stakeholders. That basically means that within the organization, organization should design policies, aise design karne chahiye, unko aise communicate karna chahiye, or unko aise implement karna chahiye within the organization that. Uh, the organization should be geared up for support and uh, should be geared up for providing motivation to all stakeholders. Because all stakeholders mil jul kar, ek dusre ke saath, ek dusre ke needs and wants ko understand karke kaam kare, so that everybody benefits. That's the whole thing. Sustainability in terms of that everybody knows what their responsibilities are. Everybody knows ke ji, achha, kiski kya duties and responsibilities hai. Mera kaam ye hai, mein apna kaam karu, aapka kaam wo hai, aap apna kaam ki jay, inka kaam jo hai, wo ye kare, inka kaam hai, wo ye karenge. Jab hum chaanu, apne apne kaam karenge, ek dusre ki responsibility 
एक्टिविटीज को या एक दूसरे के जो रोल्स हैं उनको देखेंगे अपने रोल्स पूरे करेंगे दूसरे के रोल्स को रिस्पेक्ट करेंगे रिस्पॉन्सिबल होंगे हार्ड वर्किंग होंगे गुड मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स होंगे गुड एथिकल प्रैक्टिसेस होंगी ऑटोमेटिकली चीजें इंप्रूव होंगी कंपनीज प्रॉफिट भी बनाएंगी और कंपनी कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के लिए भी काम करेंगी the final aspect of csr in addition to responsibility accountability and sustainability is social contract that means that social contract is basically a contract that is there or that exists between the corporation and the society contract we know that's that piece of paper on which you sign and 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 that's a proof ke ji do parties have agreed upon uh, a certain terms and condition isko सेम थिंग को आप सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इसलिए कहते हैं बिकॉज देर सर्टन सेट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन जो कॉरपोरेशन को सोसाइटी से होती हैं और सोसाइटी को कॉरपोरेशन से होती हैं आई एज ए कंज्यूमर वुड फील दैट यूनी वीवर बींग द मल्टा नेशनल इज गोइंग टू बी इज गोइंग टू बिहेव वेरी एथिकली इज गोइंग टू इंडल्ज इन एक्टिविटीज विच आर एथिकल इज गोइंग टू मेक प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर सेफ फॉर माई किड्स फॉर माई फैमिली एंड विल नॉट यूज इनग्रीडियंट्स विड नॉट यूज रॉ मटीरियल्स विच कैन हार्म द हेल्थ ऑफ माई लव्ड वंस दैट्स द एक्सपेक्टेशन दट आई हैव ऑफ द कॉरपोरेशन सिमिलरली द कॉरपोरेशन विल हैव सर्टन एक्सपेक्टेशन टूवर्ड्स द सोसाइटी इज वेल के जी सोसाइटी ने प्रोडक्ट्स खरीदनी है चीजें लेनी है द सोसाइटी इज गोइंग टू बी फेयर द सोसाइटी इज गोइंग टू बी जस्ट एंड एंड बाय द प्रोडक्ट्स जो कि अच्छी होंगी सो बोथ द पार्टीज हैव सर्टन एक्सपेक्टेशन and that is what your social contract is now with reference to social contract there was a survey which was done a decade ago and that summarized that 81% of the executives working in various corporations say that wealth maximization and social involvement can go hand in hand that basically means ki jab hum social contract ki baat karte hain zaruri nahi hai ki social contract mein win lose situation ho agar corporation jeetegi to society nahi jeetegi agar society ki baat mani jayegi to corporation lose karegi social contract between the corporation and the society basically is that it's a win win situation for both the parties the corporations are going to go for wealth maximization and the society is going to benefit from the social involvement that or 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 from the activities that are going to result in the betterment of the society that means the society is benefiting from the activities that the corporation is doing and the corporation is benefiting from the money that the society gives in terms of buying the product of the corporations now businesses have responded by short term programs but no long term commitments jab hum social contracts ki baat karte hain you need to understand ke ji jab hum csr ki baat karte hain ke it's a long term activity बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से टुडे विद रेफरेंस टू सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यू सी कि कॉर्पोरेशंस बहुत सारी एक्टिविटीज करते हैं बट द शॉर्ट टर्म वन टाइम एक्टिविटी व्हाट दे नीड टू रियलाइज इज दैट कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी इज गोइंग टू बी लॉन्ग टर्म ऑन गोइंग एक्टिविटी ये नहीं है कि आपने 2012 में कर दिया फिर पांच साल के लिए आप भूल गए और ट्वेंटी में भी करेंगे ट्वेंटी में भी करेंगे ट्वेंटी में भी करेंगे and finally थ्रू द सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बोथ द पार्टीज रियलाइज दैट देर हैज टू बी अ बैलेंस बिटवीन प्रॉफिट्स एंड कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हम बैलेंसिंग की बात करें अगेन आई एम सेंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन रिपीटिंग माई सेल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन दैट वेन आई एडवोकेट सी एस आर आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट द कॉरपोरेशन इज गोइंग टू लूज ऑन प्रॉफिट्स आई एम सेंग दैट द कॉरपोरेशन बींग द बिग एंटिटी दैट इट इज इट्स गोइंग टू बैलेंस प्रॉफिट्स एंड कॉरपोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एक्टिविटीज टूगेदर सो दैट एवरीबडी बेनिफिट्स right now this is the end of our lecture today and this is almost also the end for chapter number 1 now after this if you would open your books you're going to because we're following a book uh, written by an indian author you will see that uh, जो रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर है वो इंडिया के बारे में है कि आप वो पढ़ सकते हैं इट्स इट्स अगेन गुड रीडिंग सो दैट यू गेट एन आइडिया कि इंडिया में सी एस आर कैसे डेवलप हुआ बट विद रेफरेंस टू द कोर्स वी गोइंग टू एंड द चैप्टर राइट हेयर एंड नॉट मूव फॉरवर्ड बियॉन्ड द फोर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी let's just very quickly sum up sum up the lecture today we talked about the definition of corporate social responsibility the definition that was given uh, by uh, wbcst and then we discussed various different views given by other researchers of corporate social responsibility then we defined corporate social responsibility in a much more comprehensive complete way and then finally we talked about four different aspects of corporate social responsibility which were responsibility accountability sustainability and social contract now with this particular lecture which was the third lecture in our series you've just ended chapter number 1 
Uh, I guess you've heard this a thousand times. I'm going to repeat myself that please, uh, before you um, see or uh, put in the CD and see my lectures, I would really appreciate that you open up your books as well so that you read your books first, listen to my lectures second, and then go back, back to your book so that you can relate what I said with the book that you have. That is going to make your life easier and my life really very well. So till next time, till our lecture number four, I would like to say goodbye. Allah Hafiz.